Hey, we're here with Paula Bennett in Waitakere in Paula's office. Welcome Paula. Good afternoon, thank you. What's the best thing about being a Westie MP? Oh, um, the people, fabulous people. So uh, boy crikey, boy, do they tell you what they think and how they think and what they think and what you should do and how you should do it. So you're loved, you're hated, there's not a lot in between and it's quite ferocious, which I love actually. Now, Outrageous Fortune, drama or documentary? Yeah, Morris tells me it's my documentary, quite often. So um, there are touches of it, that sense of loyalty. So if they um, if they support you, that loyalty is incredibly real and you see touches of that on it. But um, I think most people, it's like most New Zealand where they're getting on with their lives and raising families and doing all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah and a bit more sensibly then, what do you think is the biggest issue out west for voters? Yeah, I think it's the um, standard, if you like. I don't think it's that surprising. Law and order is huge. Um, we have more than our fair share, unfortunately, and we don't get more than our fair share of police. So our yeah. policing is um, is locked in with North Shore yeah. and with Rodney, so it's the Whiter Matter police, and so we just don't feel, I don't feel we get that same sort of level of attention. Health, we've got a um, hospital that's open, but it's emergency departments not open 24-7, and people are being sent away, and then education is huge for ourselves you know we just have far too many of our kids leaving every day to go to school somewhere else and we've got some pretty appalling statistics of underachievement to be yeah. honest now you entered parliament in 2005 but that wasn't your first election was it you've stood for no, student no. politics before? oh yes i have yeah that's true i was gonna say no i've never stood for parliament but i stood for student politics so i was the student president at massey albany okay. in 96 96 it was so that was um, yeah that was a bit of fun that was great fun actually because it yeah. was a newish campus so we were starting up it was actually really busy and really exciting times so I'd campaigned hard for a um, crash on campus and so that's how I sort of got involved in student politics and yeah. yeah. Now looking at the US election three days before the New Zealand one, mm. if you were voting there Obama or McCain? Um, I would vote for McCain yeah. I'm, I'm not sure about Sarah Palin, but um, but I'm a bit of a McCain fan. Yeah. I, I actually think that there's um, something statemanly, statesmanly about him, and yeah, I like yeah. him. So you don't think John Key needs to balance the ticket, maybe offer Palin a job for National? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I think there's enough uh, smart, sassy woman in, um, in National Politics, <laughs> is <laughs> and, So build uh, safe. Yeah, no, well and truly, well and yeah. truly safe. No moose shooting, you know. I, have, uh, I used to have run a possum run in my day in Taupo, but yeah, no, yeah. no, yeah. And final question, Cunliffe or Goff? Oh my goodness, really? Um, Isn't Cunliffe a Westie too? Well, no, because he lives in um, Hearn Bay in the city and he's never lived out west and you can't be a Westie and not live out here. Even Tim Grosser is now living out west in a couple of years now, so he's well and truly. Um, oh, it's a bit of a struggle, isn't it? I suppose, I suppose Goff, yeah. He's been a fairly popular choice. We've had one for Jones and one for Cullen too. Really? Yes. Really? No, no, definitely Goff. Okay, thanks Paula. Thank you.